Hey guys, Chris Dunn here, and today we're talking about a major shift happening in the global economy. The US dollar is potentially losing its status as the world reserve currency, and the BRICS countries are pushing forward with plans to bypass the SWIFT system and stop using the dollar in global trade. And this could have severe implications for the US economy. So let's dive in and break this down. So after World War II, the Bretton Woods Agreement installed the US dollar as the global reserve currency. The dollar was pegged to gold and other currencies were pegged to the dollar. Also, oil began trading in dollars, which is what we call the petrodollar system today. Then in the early 70s, Nixon pulled the plug on the gold standard, which kicked off the area of fiat currencies that were backed by nothing but the faith that people had in their own governments. And then shortly after that, they created what's called, wait for this, Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication, aka SWIFT. It's like a giant messaging network that helps banks all around the world transact with each other. We're talking about more than 11,000 financial institutions in over 200 countries that are connected through this system. It's massive. But here's the thing. The U.S. has also used the SWIFT system as a weapon. You see, when the U.S. slaps sanctions on countries, they can do things like freeze bank assets and really cut off access to the global financial markets and basically put entire economies in a chokehold. And rightfully so, this causes other countries to look for alternatives to the dollar in the SWIFT system so they can get out from under Uncle Sam's influence. So let's dive into the changing tides that are happening in the global economic scene. First, the BRICS countries, that's Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, they're getting fed up with the US dollar's dominance in the SWIFT system. And specifically, Russia and China are leading the charge here. They're working together to create a new global reserve currency, and they're also developing an alternative payment system. Like China's got their China's International Payment System, or CIPS, and then Russia has Russia's system for transfer of financial messages. Basically, they're trying to gain back control. And honestly, I think that the de-dollarization of the world is really just a matter of time. You know, there's too many economies that are putting everything they have into getting out from under the U.S.'s control. And look, it's just not the BRICS nations. Other countries in the EU want to beef up the role of the euro, and even some Middle Eastern countries are weighing the idea of trading oil in currencies other than the dollar. So let's talk about some of the latest developments. In response to some of the recent sanctions, Russia's decided to start using the Chinese yuan for international payments instead of the U.S. dollar. Really, they had no choice, but also Saudi, who's one of the top oil producers in the world, has been talking to China about possibly using the yuan for oil transactions as well. So if this goes through, this is going to dramatically shake up the petrodollar system. And back at the 2022 BRICS summit, Putin unveiled plans to expand the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, the SEO, and basically create an alternative for international payments using a basket of currencies. We're talking about the Chinese RMB, Russian rubles, Indian rupees, Brazilian reals, and South African rand. And on top of that, Russia and Iran are actually cooking up a gold-backed stablecoin to help dodge U.S. sanctions as well. And this digital currency could make trade between those two countries possible without having to rely on the SWIFT system. Now, this shift could have a massive impact on both the U.S. economy and the global landscape. So let's break it down. First, America's international standing. You know, if the dollar loses the top spot, the U.S.'s influence on the world stage is going to take a massive hit. And it wouldn't have the same economic power and would face a lot of competition from giants like China. Also, no more limitless currency printing. You know, right now, the U.S. can pretty much print endless amount of dollars without severe consequences. And this luxury has afforded us to finance the military, domestic programs, and maintain a massive trade deficit. But if that dominance ends, the U.S. is going to be forced to adopt fiscally responsible policies? How about that? <laughs> Next, we'd be facing higher import costs. If the dollar loses its global reserve status, it's probably going to drop in comparison to other currencies. That means imports are going to become more expensive, leading to higher costs for consumers and businesses and probably leading to really high inflation. Speaking of inflation, we wouldn't be able to export it anymore. You know, as the reserve currency, we've been able to issue debt in dollars and force other countries to hold that debt in dollars. And that's allowed us to maintain lower inflation rates domestically while putting the burden on smaller economies. And that domino effect would lead to a reduced global military power. You know, a weakened dollar would reduce the economic impact and our ability to maintain global military presence and be in the, the 
cops of the world. And the US would probably fast track central bank digital currency development, right? They would look at the loss of control and wanna push back quickly to develop a CBDC that you know, really for me raises concerns about the loss of independent economic freedom where the central bank and the Fed and regulators would have total insight and control over your finances. All right, so let's talk about how you can safeguard your investments and yourself during these unpredictable times. As the US dollars reign, as the global reserve currency gets a little shaky, it's really important for us to be ready for any shifts that happen in the global economy. So here's a few things I think you can do. Number one, buy hard money assets. You know, the best way to hedge against a faltering dollar is to buy assets like gold and Bitcoin and land and property, you know, things that hold their value when things get shaky. Um, gold's been the go-to store of value for centuries and Bitcoin has been the top dog for the past decade or so. Also, real estate offers tangible value and the possibility of cash flow through rental income. Second, diversify your assets. You know, don't put all your eggs in one basket or in this case, one country. Spreading your assets and investments beyond the U.S. can minimize the risk of taking a hit from the potential fall of the dollar. And speaking of that, keep your eye on emerging markets. You know, don't sleep on these small economies that as the balance of power starts to shift, we're probably gonna see some of these smaller economies boom. Also stay educated and informed. Um, knowledge is power, especially in today's world where things are changing so fast and it only feels like the rate of change is picking up quickly. So to sum it up, as the US dollar status as the world reserve currency faces challenges, it's really important for us to protect our assets and try to make smart moves, right? Invest in hard money assets, diversify outside the US, keep an eye on emerging markets, and stay up to date with everything that's happening right now. That'll just help you be in a strong position to weather any economic downturn. And as always, my goal is to help you gain the knowledge and master the skills you need to build life-changing wealth. So if you got value from this video, offer the like button some financial stimulation and share this with someone who could be blindsided from the dollar losing its place as the world reserve currency. See you next time.